So let's begin with this eigenvalue decomposition example of this symmetric matrix. And the only point that I really would like to make here is that you can pretty much see the answer without doing any work. And it's just a combination of a few very insightful observations. Well, first of all, what are the eigenvalues of this matrix? Two and eight. You did it in about the right amount of time. And it's because you recognize eight very easily. Every row adds up to eight. And so eight is one of the eigenvalues. And then from the trace being 10, you can guess that the other eigenvalue is two because they add up to the trace. So eight and two, or two and eight, if we want to do them in increasing order. So that's the matrix lambda. And what's the eigenvector corresponding to eight? One, one, that's how you guessed it. So one, one, ultimately this will be a little bit different because we want this to be the trend. Correct, corresponds to eight, one and one, very good. So ultimately, because we're going for the decomposition where this matrix is the transpose of this one, we'll need to orthonormalize this one, to normalize this rather. So that'll come in just a moment. So what's the other one? So the other one should have also not required any work because you know that it's orthogonal to this one. And the only way to be orthogonal to this one is to be one minus one. So one or minus one, one, your preference. So that's an orthogonal, that's a matrix of orthogonal eigenvectors. That was really not up to you. This matrix is symmetric, has distinct eigenvalues. So of course they would come out ortho orthogonal. You need to make them orthonormal, which means divide each one by, by its length, which is square root of two. So square root of two. And what goes here? is the inverse of this matrix, but this matrix having orthonormal columns is orthogonal, so its inverse is its transpose, which, would, which I'm about to write down, but notice that if we had to put a minus here, then its transpose is the matrix itself. It would itself be symmetric, but that's more of a coincidence. So it's transpose, so let me just, just for completeness sake, write it down. Okay, and the problem is finished. 